Hi, welcome to Coding with Amadeus, episode number one. In this video series, we'll build a smart mirror with Raspberry Pi. The mirror will show time, weather forecast, and bus schedule. It will recognize hand gestures. It will integrate with Facebook Messenger or some other platform which will allow interaction with the mirror. We might do more. Reach out on Twitter or YouTube with comments, ideas, or if I make a mistake. From a technical point of view, we'll explore frameworks and patterns using modern .NET development. Raspberry Pi will be running Windows 10 and the user interface will be a universal Windows app. We'll use the model view view model pattern in a test driven development. We'll use some Nugget packages and host the project on GitHub. And in the end, we will physically build the mirror. You can see that I'm not using Azure. This project doesn't need it. But don't worry, there will be more projects on coding with Amadeus, which will use Azure. What's the agenda like for the next few episodes? In this episode, we'll set up a GitHub repo, create a solution, and a good folder structure. In the next episode, we'll talk about project architecture and the MVVM pattern. Next up, we'll write tests, integration with various services, animated user interface, interface with the IO pins for the gesture recognition, and finally, we'll build a mirror. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a GitHub repo. Launch GitHub, and in the top left corner, hit the plus icon. Put the name for the project, in our case, mirror, and select the language you're using to develop. Usually you type in language such as Java, Delphi, Ruby, but there's no entry for C sharp. Uh, for C sharp, F sharp, and Visual Basic, use Visual Studio. Now create a repo and hit publish. The next step is to create a solution. First, let me share uh, something I found recently online. David Fowler shared his favorite .NET project structure here on GIST. And the project structure is such that in the main directory, there's uh, all the GitHub files like gitignore, readme, and there's a solution. Now the project files are located in source and test folders. And there are other folders such as docs and samples uh, for other needs of your project. So I would like to recreate this project because I like it a lot and there are other projects which use it. For example, Entity Framework is using this. This is uh, the solution right here. Source projects are in source and test projects are in test. Another project using it is Nugget Solution source projects and test projects and a very cool project signal R it's following the same pattern um, let's run Visual Studio the process of setting up this solution structure is a little bit tricky so let me quickly walk you through it we need to create an empty solution so that Visual Studio doesn't create its default folder structure. The empty solution is located under templates, other project types, Visual Studio solutions, blank solution. We'll use the same name as our GitHub repo, and we do it because right here there's this checkbox, which is always on, we cannot unselect it, and it will actually create a folder github slash mirror where the solution will go but that's okay let's create that solution and we'll quickly take a look at it it's right here now we need to create folders source and tests now we'll add project in the solution explorer right click on the solution hit add 
new project. Now I usually use class library or WPF application, but in our case, but in our case, we're building a universal Windows 10 app. And this one is located in Windows Universal Blank App. The name of the project should follow the name of the namespace in this project. And the guideline for the name of the namespace is a prefix used in your projects or in your organization. For my projects, it's Amadeus W, followed by the name of this overall project, Mirror. And now we'll put the actual name of the project that we're building right now. And this project is the main user interface, so I'll call it GUI. And another important thing, it needs to go to the source directory. Okay. Let's see if it was put in the right place. Yes, it was. Now let's see if it works. And if it works, we will commit and push our files to the GitHub's cloud. To launch the app, I hit this uh, green button. You can also hit F5. We can see that the app is running. There are no errors. In GitHub, in the right side, there is this ring icon. When you click it, you can see all the files that were changed since the last commit. So we can review everything that happened. We see the creation of uh, the solution of the project. Let's describe what we just did. Created the solution and the first project. Commit saves the changes locally on your computer. Now to upload those changes to the GitHub's cloud, hit the sync button. Now let's see if it's actually up there. Refresh. There are files. The project is right here. Good job. You just created the project and uploaded it to GitHub. I'll see you in the next episode where we'll discuss the project architecture, the MVVM pattern, and we'll actually get coding. See you soon.